Well, r really, this study was all about water and home fire sprinklers. Um, one of the things that uh, NFPA has encountered um, in their efforts to you know, inform the community about home fire sprinklers is some myths, um, misperceptions out there about a lot of issues around water. That includes um, the water demand by a fire sprinkler system, uh, the water utilities in particular, um, there's a lot of misunderstanding about uh, the capacity of water meters that they use to, to measure the amount of water and charge for the amount of water um, used in homes and how home fire sprinklers will uh, affect those meters, whether the meters will be accurate and so on. So that was really the driving force for the study. Well, interestingly enough, this was kind of a, um, really, it started off as a sidebar to the study, actually. Um, we decided that we would attempt to uh, evaluate the relative water consumption uh, in an unsprinklered home fire and a sprinklered home fire. And there was a very careful scientific study done of this issue um, with FM Global uh, Research. Um, and we wanted to go out into the field and see if we could find some more data around the same issue. So we conducted a survey, uh, went out broadly out into um, the community and asked fire departments if they'd be willing to work with us and um, estimate the water usage that they were using uh, when they responded to a home fire. And we had actually 35 um, different fires that were recorded by eight fire departments around the country during this brief time span of our project over about three months. And they made an estimate on how much water they used when they responded to home fires. And of course, there was a broad range of that water usage because the fire that they responded to were um, very varying. Some were very small, some were large, and so on. So uh, we were able to get that data and then compare that with um, the calculated water usage in a sprinklered uh, home fire based on a one sprinkler design of a typical home fire sprinkler system. So we were, we were comparing some field data, which was um, estimated and averaged, with a calculation of, of what a home fire sprinkler would use. And um, th this, the study showed that um, without home fire sprinklers, which is a, perhaps a fairly obvious conclusion, a great deal more water was used on average on those fires. Um, and you know, largely that depends on when the fire department responded, but um, the average really was, you know, 12 times as much. So that was the major finding really related to water consumption. We also did some calculations on um, community fire flow requirements with and without sprinklers, and there are established procedures in the NFPA standards and other places. Uh, for calculating um, what kind of water infrastructure needs to be in place um, for firefighting. And uh, again, on a calculation basis, with home fire sprinklers, the calculation shows, you know, an average of, I guess, just a little bit more than half as much water is required as in the community where all the homes would be sprinklered. So those were the findings of the study related to water usage. Well, this was actually really our initial focus for this study. And again, it was uh, trying to understand how conventional residential water meters perform in um, fire sprinkler conditions, fire sprinkler flows, to kind of really overcome some of the, the myths that are out there related to that topic. And we actually purchased, um, just went out into the marketplace and purchased uh, readily available water meters ranging from 5 eighths to 1 inch in, in size. And um, looked at uh, various aspects of their performance. Um, we looked at very low flows going through the larger meters to see whether they were able to accurately meter those low flows. And we also looked at the large flow the large short duration flow that, that happens during a home fire sprinkler event to, to look at the performance of the meter. You know, did the meter fail? Did the meter measure the flow properly? Were there any issues associated with that? And uh, with the exception of, of uh, one series of meters that we purchased, which um, we believe was an anomaly, um, all the meters um, measured the low flows uh, well. and uh, 
And as long as the, the high flows were not, you know, extraordinarily high, and um, they measured them well as well. So um, I think we, we really gathered some good information on, on water meter performance that, that the utilities can uh, use with confidence.